Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Dearly Daily Budgets. I'm Sarah and thank you so much for joining me today. It really means a great deal to me. So, how is everyone? How has your week been? Mine has been a bit slow. I haven't really done a lot. I have just got home from seeing my rheumatologist on that update. Um, everything's going okay. They're possibly changing a med but they need to have, um, I need to have some x-rays and ultrasounds done because the medication I'm on at the moment, Infliximab, which is an infusion I have every six weeks, um, and it basically wipes out your immune system each time. The next one that I can go on that they're thinking of swapping me to is even worse than that one. So we need to make sure things are okay and right to be changed into changed to that particular medication um hmm, what else what else i've been to the dentist that was fun i've got to go back because i've got to have a little bit of work done so yay me woohoo and yeah oh costco guys so a lot of you have said i want to hear about costco because obviously i didn't know i didn't go i wrote a list and yeah that was fine wrote a list well let me tell you this she strayed from this list, guys. So on the list, I put down, for example, I put down apple juice or tropical juice, whichever is cheaper. I get two packets of both. Um, what else did she... Oh, a huge roll. She's like, look at this bargain. Whoa, you should see this. It's amazing. A great big roll of black bin bags. These were only £7. Okay, they are really good bin bags, but it's the excitement she got from the bin bags and i don't know if i've maybe she's hidden a few things because the bill well let me put it this way she spent 230 pounds in costco oh she bought some laundry detergent oh it was on offer so i bought three and yeah this is yeah this is this is what um we deal with regularly luckily it was her money it was the majority of it was from her share of the grocery money for february so she's already spent her grocery money so that leaves us it might leave us a little bit tight but at the same time she's done okay but she's also become a bit obsessed with vinted and she sees things oh well this would be great for this or this would be great for her or this would be great for him and yeah she's um we've had a mold for i think it's for resin possibly not sure um there's literally been a parcel every day delivered to her and i never know what it could be so right anyway you're not here for that life are you you're not here to hear about me talk about her so let's get in so today is the last day of january week five and we all know this is my favorite time to stuff because it is anything that is left in my purse get stuffed so there's nothing left in spending but there is a pound nothing in groceries because that went fuel has got 45 miscellaneous has got nothing and no nothing for sinking fund spends so that is the purse empty and now i guess it is just a case of seeing what we're going to do with the money so the first pound coin is going to go in the flump tin into the possibly design challenge. So I am going to mark off a one pound. Wonderful. And next I need to bring in this binder. This is it's all going to go into savings challenges today, guys. So first things first, I need to go to the postcode challenge and let me bring in the big one. Oh by the way guys, I've named I've named the carrot. His name is Clive because I like it. And it's just adorable. So anyway, postcode challenge. So this week I have done everything in purple. So thank you very much to each and every one of you. And I also had someone from Canberra in Australia, New Mexico in the USA, Ohio in the USA. Now, when we used to go to America with my family, we went a few times when I was younger um, and we used to read the license plates and bits. My mum cannot say Ohio. She used to go, oh, hee ho, oh, hee ho. So it was a running game to see how many times we could get her to say Ohio 
or Ohiho without her noticing. And then someone said their postcode started with a T and they are from Canada. So with all of this in total, it makes a total of £13 for this week that needs to go into the postcode challenge. So let me pop that to one side and let's pop in £13, which I don't have. But so if I put 25 in, that needs £12 back, doesn't it? So if I put the 10 and the 2 there and pop that in there, so that's 35 and £4. I believe that's right. If it's not, let me know, guys. So that leaves with 32. I am then going to flip to my Easter wallet because we are I am saving for Easter and I'm using this little tracker. And I'm going to pop that £2 in there so I can cross off the two. Good stuff. So I only have a few Easter eggs that I have to buy for, and this is just what it's for. Or a little treat or something. I don't always buy my nephews and niece um, a chocolate egg. Sometimes I get them a little game or something. Just something little. Because they get enough chocolate at Christmas, at Christmas, at Easter. And right, so we've got £30 left. So spending challenge is not going to get anything because that's out of spending money. Or do I? Because it's very close. How much is on here? 6, 12, 17, 20, 23, 26. No, I'll leave that. I could put some in Dingley Designs. Um, what else have we got? Carrots, £5 carrots, and we've got the 1 to 50 envelope. Now, I do want to put something in here because I want to get that done. Right, okay. If I've got, if I've got a £5 note in Dingley Designs, I'm going to put £5 in there. If I haven't, then I'm not. And no, I haven't. So, sorry, Dingley, you are getting nothing. Right, okay, carrots. I'm going to do some in here. So, each carrot is worth £5. Once it's all complete, it gives me £100. So, let's put in £10. So, let's colour in two carrots, because we all know I love a carrot. Honestly, they are, oh, just so cute. I love carrots. And those that have ordered from me or seen any of my stuff, you know, carrots feature a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot in my bits. So, right, there we go. So, that will do, won't it? And let's just give that a quick wafty waft. There we go. And let's put the £10 in there. And that is the carrot challenge started. So, that is my new challenge one. <coughs> Whoops, a daisy. As we know, or if you're a new subscriber, challenge one is a challenge that is adds up to £250 or less. And challenge two is one above 250 So I am going to go straight to challenge two, which is the 50 envelope. And I'm going to pop this £20 note in it. So let's cross off 20 And then let me find my box. I put my purse on top of it. And find the envelope number 20 to pop that in there. Let's see, here we go, there we go, number 20, and that goes in there just like that, and that is that done, so that can go in there, and then very quickly I would like to just show you a couple of bits, so I do have some happy mail that I would like to share with you all. So I have got da, 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 Risk the Six from Studio Budgets and this was designed with Budget and Kerry. Budget and Kerry. Budget with Kerry. So it's the Risk of Six. You get all six different dice. You roll that um, how often you want to and you save the amounts that show on the dice. It comes with the insert, the wallet. You've got the game board and then very kindly instructions which is great because I always need some instructions. So I'm not going to start this just yet because I can't fit it into my budget, but it was, oops, a daisy, I've thrown it on the floor. It will feature in the binders soon. And I don't know if you just saw my face, which I won't have to edit. And then the next thing I'd like to show you is a new product that will be launching in my shop soon. 
um i don't i've got a few in the pipeline but this is one that i've actually got ready and it is the same as the money bags challenge that i have at the moment it's just in a slightly different let me see if i've got the other money bags to hand the old version um here we go i've got some trackers here so this was the old version in the like neutrally colors and each one had the each circle had the amounts and each one of these so if you complete this 1p checker once you've completed it that gives you a full bag of pennies to take to the bank or the post office to exchange so what i have done now these cards are slightly smaller in comparison and they will have a hoop on them and yeah so exactly the same just in this funky purple and starry flowery vibe but it just doesn't have the amounts in it so you can tick them cross them colour them in, do what you want. So that will be available in my shop soon. So I hope you like that. There's also going to be um, a couple of new vinyl wallets designs being bought out and a new holiday tracker, I believe, I've got in the pipeline. So exciting, exciting times. So that does bring me to the end of the video. I guess I better tell you guys a joke. So are we ready? Now this is from, or it's based, loosely based, on my favourite film ever. My favourite film is Forrest Gump and oh, it cheers me up no end. If I'm having a bad day, let's put Forrest Gump on. Honestly, I watch that film so often. Yeah, I just love it. So this is a Forrest Gump joke. Are you ready? Are you ready? What's Forrest Gump's password? What's Forrest Gump's password? One forest, one. <laughs> Honestly, I thought it was brilliant. I thought it was absolutely fabulous. But yeah, so that is the end of the video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed January. I am glad it is over with. It has felt like an incredibly long month for me. And my next video will be February week one. And there's something exciting I get to tell you in that video. So Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you all have a fantastic week and I shall see you next time. Take care, guys. Goodbye. <laughs>